The Adventure of Peter Pan Once upon a time, Peter Pan and Tinkerbell, a friendly fairy, had a strong bond. One day, Tinkerbell flew into a house in London, and Peter Pan soon discovered her whereabouts. Determined to reunite with his fairy friend, Peter Pan made the decision to visit the bedroom of three children, Wendy, John, and Michael Darling, who lived in London. Upon arrival, Peter Pan found the children peacefully sleeping in their beds, lost in dreams. Peter Pan carefully explored the room, searching every nook and cranny until he finally discovered Tinkerbell. However, just as Peter Pan and Tinkerbell prepared to depart from the house, the three children woke up, their eyes wide open in surprise. Peter Pan took a bit of magical dust and gently sprinkled it over the heads of the children. He whispered to them, Try to think of the things that make you happiest, and you'll be able to fly. The children couldn't believe their eyes when they suddenly realized they could fly. It was truly astonishing. With Peter Pan as their guide, they embarked on an incredible and enchanting journey through the skies to a place called Neverland. Neverland was a remarkable and enchanting land, brimming with thrilling adventures and marvelous wonders. There, they encountered pirates, mermaids, fairies, and many other extraordinary creatures with magical powers. But the most amazing part of Neverland was the Lost Boys, a special group of boys who, like the children, had also learned to fly and had no desire to leave this extraordinary place. In Neverland, there was a very mean pirate named Captain Hook. He sailed the seas with his crew of rough and tough pirates. Captain Hook wore a big hat and a long coat. What made him different was that he had a hook instead of a hand. A crocodile had bitten off his hand a long time ago. The crocodile also swallowed a clock, so Hook was always scared of the tick-tock sound. Whenever the crocodile was nearby, he could hear the tick-tock sound of the clock. It reminded him of the crocodile's presence and made him feel afraid. Captain Hook and his pirate crew had a large ship called the Jolly Roger. They sailed across the oceans, searching for treasure and causing mischief, but their main goal was to capture Peter Pan. Captain Hook felt intense envy towards Peter because of his ability to fly and his youthful spirit. He yearned to conquer him. Every time Peter Pan and the Lost Boys caught sight of the approaching Jolly Roger ship, they knew that Captain Hook and his crew were on their way to get them. However, Peter Pan was incredibly courageous and cunning, always managing to outwit Captain Hook and his pirates. Peter and his friends engaged in numerous battles against the pirates. Although they occasionally found themselves in troublesome situations, they always emerged victorious. Even though Captain Hook and his pirate crew were terrifying, Peter Pan and his friends consistently defeated them with their bravery and intelligence. One fine day, when Peter Pan wasn't around, Captain Hook and his pirate crew managed to capture Wendy and her brothers. They were brought to the Jolly Roger, where Captain Hook eagerly awaited their arrival. He was overjoyed to have finally caught Peter Pan's dearest friend. Wendy felt extremely frightened, but she tried her best to remain brave. She stood up to Captain Hook, refusing to let him intimidate her. Captain Hook was impressed by her courage and decided to make her his personal storyteller. He already knew that Wendy had a passion for storytelling. He believed that if she told him stories every night, it would help him overcome his fear of the dark. 
Initially, Wendy didn't want to share stories with Hook and his crew, but then she realized it was an opportunity to get away. So, Wendy began narrating the tale of Peter Pan and his adventures in Neverland. As she recounted the story, she cleverly dropped hints to guide her brothers on how to escape. Wendy managed to divert Captain Hook's attention long enough for the brothers to make their getaway. When Hook discovered their escape, he became furious. He attempted to capture them again, but with the assistance of Peter Pan and Tinkerbell, they flew away. From that day forward, Wendy grew even braver and more self-assured. She demonstrated that even when faced with danger, she could remain composed and use her intelligence to outweigh her adversaries. One fine day, in order to rescue Wendy, Peter Pan flew over to where Captain Hook and his pirates were positioned and challenged Hook to a duel. Captain Hook was thrilled to have the opportunity to defeat Peter Pan once and for all. The duel began, but Peter proved to be swift and agile, skillfully evading Hook's attacks. Meanwhile, Wendy silently slipped away while they were engaged in combat. She understood that she needed to return to the Lost Boy's hideout before the pirates discovered her. She sprinted as fast as she could, ensuring she remained quiet so as not to alert the pirates. Finally, she reached the hideout, where the Lost Boys anxiously awaited her return. They were all immensely relieved to see her and erupted in cheers upon learning that Peter Pan had successfully diverted Captain Hook and his crew. In the end, the fight between Peter and Hook reached no clear conclusion, and both eventually retreated. However, Wendy was safe, and she knew she owed her rescue to Peter Pan. She felt grateful for his assistance. She was aware that she would forever cherish the memories of their adventure on the captivating island of Neverland. On a particular day, Peter Pan and his companions, the Lost Boys, were having fun playing in the forest when they heard noises from the nearby beach. They flew over to investigate and witnessed Captain Hook and his pirate crew landing on the shore. Peter Pan and the Lost Boys engaged in a warlike clash against Captain Hook and his pirates. Captain Hook held deep resentment towards Peter Pan for constantly thwarting his schemes and vowed to conquer him once and for all. He challenged Peter Pan to a duel, and without hesitation, Peter accepted. The two opponents began their fight, but Captain Hook proved to be no match for Peter's swiftness and agility. Peter Pan skillfully maneuvered around him, playfully taunting and outwitting him. As Captain Hook's fury grew, Peter Pan appeared to be thoroughly enjoying himself. After a lengthy battle, Peter disarmed Hook, causing him to stumble and fall into the sea. The pirates were completely surprised and quickly retreated, realizing they stood no chance against Peter and the Lost Boys. However, Peter Pan wasn't ready to call it quits just yet. He flew to the Jolly Roger, where Captain Hook was hiding, and issued one final challenge to him. Captain Hook hesitated, but he understood that he couldn't avoid the challenge. They engaged in another round of combat. This time, Peter Pan was even more determined to emerge victorious against Captain Hook. Eventually, Peter's unwavering determination paid off. He managed to overpower Hook, rendering him unconscious. The pirates were defeated, and Peter Pan and his friends celebrated their triumph. From that day onward, Peter and his companions could freely explore Neverland without worrying about attacks from Captain Hook and his crew.
Peter Pan knew he had emerged triumphant and felt proud of his bravery and skills. A few weeks later, even though Wendy was enjoying herself in Neverland, she started to feel homesick for her mom and dad. She longed for the warm hugs and the cozy feeling of being at home. Thus, she made up her mind that it was time to go back to London. Peter Pan felt very sad upon hearing this, but he understood that Wendy was making the right choice. Therefore, Peter Pan assisted Wendy and her brothers in flying back to their London home. Upon their arrival, they discovered their parents filled with immense joy at seeing them again. The children embraced their parents tightly and shared all the exciting stories of their adventures. They recounted tales of Neverland and the remarkable experiences they had alongside Peter and the Lost Boys. Even though they had grown a little older, they would never forget Neverland. Its memories would forever remain in their hearts. Peter Pan Peter Pan Visiting London Peter Pan and Tinkerbell, a fairy, were good friends. One day, Tinkerbell flied into a house in London. Later, Peter Pan got to know Tinkerbell was in a house in London. To find his fairy friend, Tinkerbell, now Peter Pan decided to visit the bedroom of three children who lived in London, Wendy, John, and Michael Darling. When he arrived, he found them all fast asleep in their beds. He went around the room and finally found Tinkerbell. When Peter Pan and Tinkerbell were about to leave the house, three children woke up. When they looked at Peter Pan and Tinkerbell, they didn't believe their eyes. Peter was very curious about these children, so he decided to use his magic to make them believe in fairies. Flying to Neverland Peter Pan sprinkled fairy dust over their heads and whispered, Think of the happiest things, and you will fly. To the amazement of the children, they suddenly found that they could fly. Peter Pan led them on a magical adventure through the skies to Neverland. Welcome to Neverland. Neverland was a beautiful and magical place filled with adventures and wonders. There were pirates and mermaids and fairies and other magical creatures. Best of all, there were the Lost Boys, a group of boys who had also flown to Neverland and never wanted to leave. Playing with the Lost Boys Peter Pan was the leader of the Lost Boys, and he showed Wendy, John, and Michael all around the island. They explored caves and climbed trees and played games. Peter Pan and the Lost Boys even fought against the evil Captain Hook and his pirate crew, who were always trying to catch them. Captain Hook, the Terrible Pirate In Neverland, there was also a mean pirate named Captain Hook who sailed the seas with his crew of rough and tough pirates. Captain Hook wore a big hat and a long coat, and he had a hook for a hand because a crocodile had bitten it off long ago. The crocodile also swallowed a clock, and so Hook was always afraid because he could hear the tick-tock of the clock whenever the crocodile was near. Captain Hook and his pirate crew had a big ship called the Jolly Roger. They sailed the seas looking for treasure and causing trouble, but mostly they wanted to catch Peter Pan. 
Captain Hook was very jealous of Peter's ability to fly and his youthfulness, and he wanted to defeat him. Every time Peter Pan and the Lost Boys saw the Jolly Roger ship approaching, they knew that Captain Hook and his crew were coming for them. But Peter Pan was very brave and clever, and he always managed to outsmart Hook and his pirates. Peter and his friends fought many battles against the pirates, and although they sometimes got into trouble, they always managed to come out on top. So, even though Captain Hook and his pirate crew were very scary, Peter Pan and his friends were always able to defeat them with their bravery and cleverness. Wendy Kidnapped One day, while Peter Pan was away, Wendy and her brothers were captured by Captain Hook and his pirate crew. They were taken to the Jolly Roger, where Hook was waiting for them. He was delighted to have finally captured Peter Pan's closest friend. Wendy was very scared, but she tried to be brave. She stood up to Hook and refused to be intimidated by him. Captain Hook was impressed by her courage and decided to make her his own personal storyteller. Captain Hook already knew that Wendy loved telling stories. He thought that if she told him stories every night, he might not be so afraid of the dark. Brilliant Wendy At first, Wendy didn't want to tell stories to Hook and his crew, but then she realized that it was her chance to escape. So, Wendy started telling them the story of Peter Pan and his adventures in Neverland. As she told the story, she also gave clues to her brothers about how to escape. Eventually, Wendy's plan worked. Her brothers were able to sneak away from the pirates while they were listening to the story. Wendy was able to distract Captain Hook long enough for them to make their escape. When Hook realized what had happened, he was furious. He tried to capture them again, but they managed to fly away with the help of Peter Pan and Tinkerbell. From that day on, Wendy became even braver and more confident. She had shown that even in the face of danger, she could stay calm and use her wits to outsmart her enemies. Wendy rescued finally. One day, to save Wendy, Peter Pan flew over to where Hook and his pirates were standing and challenged Captain Hook to a duel. Captain Hook was delighted to have the chance to defeat Peter Pan once and for all. They began to fight, but Peter was quick and nimble, and he was able to dodge Hook's attacks. While they were fighting, Wendy quietly snuck away. She knew that she had to get back to the Lost Boys' hideout before the pirates found her. She ran as fast as she could, trying to stay quiet so that the pirates wouldn't hear her. Finally, she made it back to the hideout, where the Lost Boys were waiting for her. They were all very relieved to see her, and they cheered when they heard that Peter Pan had been able to distract Hook and his crew. In the end, Peter and Hook's fight was inconclusive, and both of them retreated. But Wendy was safe, and she knew that she had Peter Pan to thank for her rescue. She felt grateful for his help. She knew that she would always remember their adventure on the island of Neverland. The Battle
One day, Peter Pan and his friends, the Lost Boys, were playing in the forest when they heard a commotion coming from the nearby beach. They flew over to investigate and saw that Captain Hook and his pirate crew had landed on the shore. Now, Peter Pan and the Lost Boys had a battle with Captain Hook and his pirate crew. They were at war. Captain Hook was furious with Peter Pan for always foiling his plans and vowed to defeat him once and for all. He challenged Peter Pan to a duel, and Peter accepted. The two began to fight, but Hook was no match for Peter's quickness and agility. Peter flew circles around him, making fool of him with his playful nature. Captain Hook grew angrier and angrier, but Peter Pan seemed to be having the time of his life. Finally. After a long battle, Peter disarmed Hook and sent him tumbling into the sea. The pirates were shocked and started to retreat, realizing that they couldn't defeat Peter and the Lost Boys. But Peter Pan wasn't finished yet. He flew over to the Jolly Roger, where Hook was hiding, and challenged him to one last duel. Captain Hook was reluctant, but he knew that he couldn't back down from a challenge. They began to fight again, but this time Peter Pan was even more determined to defeat Captain Hook. In the end, Peter's determination paid off. He managed to overpower Hook and knock him unconscious. The pirates were defeated. Peter Pan and his friends were victorious. From that day on, Peter and his friends were free to explore the island of Neverland without fear of being attacked by Captain Hook and his crew. Peter Pan knew that he had won the day, and he felt proud of his bravery and skill. Wendy missing home. Despite all the fun she was having, Wendy began to miss her mother and father. She missed the warmth of their embrace and the comfort of their home. And so she decided that it was time for her to return to London. Flying back to London. Peter Pan was very sad to hear this, but he knew that Wendy was right. So Peter Pan helped Wendy and her brothers fly back to their home in London. When they arrived, they found that their mother and father were overjoyed to see them. The children hugged their parents tightly and told them all about their adventures. Memory of Neverland. The children told their parents all about Neverland and the adventures they had with Peter and the Lost Boys. Even though they had grown up a little bit, they never forgot Neverland, and they would not forget Neverland forever. Peter Pan of Neverland. Peter Pan and Tinker Bell, a friendly fairy, was the best friend. One day, Tinker Bell flew into a house in London. Later on, Peter Pan discovered that Tinker Bell was actually in that very house in London. To reunite with his fairy friend Tinker Bell, Peter Pan made up his mind to visit the bedroom of three children who lived in London: Wendy, John, and Michael Darling. When Peter Pan arrived, he found the children fast asleep in their cozy beds, lost in dreamland. Carefully, he explored the room until he finally spotted Tinker Bell glowing softly in the moonlight. However, just as Peter Pan and Tinker Bell were preparing to leave the house, the three children suddenly woke up from their slumber. Wide-eyed and amazed, 
The children couldn't believe what they were seeing Peter Pan and Tinkerbell right in front of them. Out of curiosity, Peter Pan felt a strong desire to learn more about these children. He decided to use his magical abilities to make them truly believe in the existence of fairies, hoping to spark their imagination and wonder. Peter Pan took a handful of magical fairy dust and sprinkled it gently over the heads of the children. Then he whispered to them, Close your eyes and think about the things that make you the happiest. If you do, something incredible will happen. To their great surprise, the children suddenly discovered that they were able to fly. They felt weightless and free as they soared through the air alongside Peter Pan. Peter Pan, with a mischievous grin, became their guide on a remarkable journey through the vast skies to a place called Neverland. Neverland was a truly enchanting and magnificent land, brimming with endless adventures and astonishing marvels. In this extraordinary realm, one could encounter daring pirates, mesmerizing mermaids, delightful fairies, and various other mystical creatures. Each corner of Neverland was filled with magic and wonder, providing a never-ending source of excitement. However, the most marvelous part of Neverland was the presence of the Lost Boys. They were a special group of boys who, like the children, had also discovered their ability to fly and had flown to Neverland. Once there, they found a home they never wanted to leave, as they enjoyed the joy and freedom that the land offered. Peter Pan took on the important role of leading the Lost Boys, and he made sure to show Wendy, John, and Michael every corner of the island, leaving no place unexplored. Together, they embarked on exciting adventures, entering caves, climbing trees, and engaging in playful games that filled their days with joy. But their time in Neverland was not all fun and games. Peter Pan and the Lost Boys had to face off against the wicked Captain Hook and his gang of menacing pirates. The wicked Captain Hook and his crew were relentless in their pursuit of capturing them. In this magical land, there resided a notorious pirate known as Captain Hook, who commanded a crew of rough and formidable pirates, sailing the vast seas. Captain Hook's appearance was distinct, as he wore a large hat and a lengthy coat. Notably, his hand had been replaced with a hook due to a crocodile's bite that had occurred long ago. Interestingly, the crocodile had also swallowed a ticking clock, causing Captain Hook to live in constant fear, as the sound of the clock's tick-tock could be heard whenever the crocodile approached. Captain Hook and his pirate crew had a big ship named the Jolly Roger. They sailed the seas in search of treasure and mischief, but their main goal was to capture Peter Pan. Captain Hook felt intense envy towards Peter due to his ability to fly and his eternal youth, and he desired to conquer him. Every time Peter Pan and the Lost Boys spotted the approaching Jolly Roger ship, they understood that Captain Hook and his crew were after them. However, Peter Pan possessed great courage and intelligence, consistently outwitting Hook and his pirates. Peter and his companions engaged in numerous battles against the pirates. Though they occasionally encountered difficulties, they always emerged victorious. Thus, despite the intimidating presence of Captain Hook and his pirate crew, Peter Pan and his friends continuously triumphed over them through their bravery and cleverness. One sunny day, when Peter Pan wasn't around, Captain Hook and his pirate gang captured Wendy and her brothers. They were brought aboard the Jolly Roger, where Captain Hook eagerly awaited their arrival. Captain Hook was overjoyed to have finally captured Peter Pan's closest companion. Wendy felt very frightened, but she tried her best to show bravery. She stood up to Captain Hook and refused to let him intimidate her. Captain Hook was impressed by her courage and decided to appoint her as his personal storyteller. Captain Hook had already learned that Wendy had a great love for storytelling. 
He believed that if she shared stories with him every night, he might not feel this scared of the dark. At first, Wendy didn't feel like sharing stories with Hook and his crew, but then she felt that she could see an opportunity to escape while she was telling stories. Therefore, she began narrating the tale of Peter Pan and his thrilling adventures in Neverland. As she spun the story, Wendy cleverly dropped hints to guide her brothers on how to break free. Wendy successfully diverted Captain Hook's attention long enough for them to make their getaway. When Hook realized what had occurred, he became livid with anger. He made another attempt to capture them, but with the assistance of Peter Pan and Tinkerbell, they managed to soar away. Since that day, Wendy grew even braver and more self-assured. She demonstrated that even in perilous situations, she could remain composed and utilize her intellect to outweigh her adversaries. One fine day, in order to rescue Wendy, Peter Pan flew over to where Captain Hook and his pirates were standing, and he challenged Captain Hook to a duel. Captain Hook was thrilled at the opportunity to finally defeat Peter Pan once and for all. They engaged in combat, but Peter's quickness and agility allowed him to evade Hook's attacks. Meanwhile, Wendy took advantage of their fight and quietly sneaked away. She understood the importance of returning to the Lost Boys' hideout before the pirates discovered her. She sprinted as fast as she could, making an effort to remain silent so as not to alert the pirates. Eventually, she reached the hideout where the Lost Boys eagerly awaited her arrival. They were all greatly relieved to see her, and their cheers filled the air upon hearing that Peter Pan had successfully diverted Captain Hook and his crew. Ultimately, the battle between Peter and Hook remained undecided, and both of them withdrew. Nevertheless, Wendy was safe, and she knew that she owed her rescue to Peter Pan. She felt a deep sense of gratitude for his assistance. She was certain that she would forever cherish the memories of their extraordinary adventure on the enchanting island of Neverland. One bright day, Peter Pan and his pals, the Lost Boys, were having fun in the forest when they heard a lot of noise from the nearby beach. They flew over to see what was going on and discovered that Captain Hook and his pirate gang had arrived on the shore. Now, Peter Pan and the Lost Boys found themselves in a battle against Captain Hook and his pirates. They were in the midst of a war. Captain Hook was boiling with anger towards Peter Pan, who always ruined his plans. He was determined to conquer Peter once and for all. He challenged Peter Pan to a fight, and Peter bravely accepted. The two adversaries began their duel, but Captain Hook couldn't match Peter's speed and agility. Peter zoomed around him, playfully making a mockery of Captain Hook's attempts. As Captain Hook grew more and more furious, Peter Pan seemed to be having the time of his life. After a long and intense battle, Peter disarmed Captain Hook, causing him to tumble into the sea. The pirates were surprised and quickly started to run away, realizing they couldn't beat Peter and the Lost Boys. But Peter Pan wasn't ready to stop. He flew to the Jolly Roger ship, where Captain Hook was hiding, and challenged him to a final duel. Captain Hook felt hesitant, but he couldn't refuse a challenge. They resumed fighting. However, this time, Peter Pan had an even stronger determination to defeat Captain Hook. In the end, Peter's persistence paid off. He managed to overpower Hook and make him lose consciousness. The pirates were defeated. Peter Pan and his friends emerged as the winners. Since that day, Peter and his companions could freely explore the wonders of Neverland without worrying about being attacked by Captain Hook and his crew. Peter Pan knew he had triumphed, and he felt proud of his courage and abilities. When it came to Wendy, 
Even though Wendy was having a great time, she started to miss her mom and dad. She longed for the loving hugs and the cozy feeling of their home. Therefore, she made the decision to go back to London. Peter Pan felt very sad upon hearing this, but he understood that Wendy was making the right choice. Peter Pan assisted Wendy and her brothers in flying back to their home in London. Upon their arrival, Wendy and her brothers were met with immense joy from their parents. The children embraced their mom and dad tightly, sharing all the exciting tales of their adventures. They recounted stories of Neverland and the thrilling experiences they had with Peter and the Lost Boys. Although they had grown a little older, the memories of Neverland never left their hearts. They would forever remember their time in Neverland.